What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's get some MLB picks and props for Sunday, July night slate of games. Before we get started, we have $50 to give away. Pull up the wheel. 31 people commented hashtag money in the comments. I don't know uh, if 1,600 plus people don't like money, but we only got 31 in the comments. So everybody who commented has a very good chance of winning. Trey, let's spin that wheel. All right. You guys know the drill. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I wish you guys good luck. Good luck. And also, you can reach out to us at Bears Profit on Twitter or email us. The whammy. Stop. Mark Regan, VB7HB, has won $50 on the Bears Profit Play YouTube channel. Mark, if you would reach out to us at Bears Profit on Twitter or give us an email, bearsprofitplays at gmail.com. We will set you up with that $50. But, Trey, let's take a look at our leaderboard from yesterday. Let's get into some game picks. Start us off. Yeah, we may need to give away more money. Who knows? Because we went 0 2 yesterday. I went 0 1 myself because I gave out the Texas Rangers minus one and a half in the full game run line versus the Nationals. The Rangers, they got their butt whooped in this game. They lost 8 to 3. Just hard to come back from a 7 to 0 deficit in the second inning. And that's exactly what happened to us in this game. The Rangers tried their best, but it just did not happen for us. Yeah, I went 0 1 as well. I had the under eight and a half runs of the Chicago Cubs versus Yankees game. Uh, was looking, was looking really bad early. And then I thought we were going to cash, but Mike Tockman decided to hit a two-run home run on the top of the eighth inning to cash the over. They scored nine in the game. I had the under eight and a half. We're going to do better today, Trey. Start us off with our picks. My game that I'm going to be attacking, it's going to be this St. Louis Cardinals at Chicago White Sox game. And it's going to be an epic battle between two teams that have miserably failed their preseason expectations this season. The Cardinals, they have the third worst record in the National League with a 37-52 and 52 record, 20-27 and 27 on the road. And the White Sox, they have the third worst record in the American League with a 38 and 53 record, 21 and 24 at home. So if both of these teams, I don't know if they're going to be trying to win this game. They both might be trying to tank. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be taking the Chicago White Sox on the money line at minus 122. And I'm also going to be taking the under team total runs for the St. Louis Cardinals in this game. It should be at four and a half runs at minus 125. And I love both of these plays because I think that the Chicago White Sox are easily going to win this game because of the pitching matchup. The Cardinals, they're throwing out a guy who hasn't even won a game this year in Steven Matz. Matz, he's pitched in 18 games this season and has an 0-7 record with a 5.02 ERA. But he has struggled mightily whenever he has to pitch on the road this season in his eight road starts. He's turned that to an 0-3 record with a 7.14 road ERA. So look for the White Sox to try to get to him early in this game. In Chicago, they're throwing out one of their aces in this game in Lucas Giolito. And Giolito, he's pitching 18 games as well this season, turned into a 6-5 and five record with a 3.5 ERA. But he has been really impressive whenever he gets to pitch in Chicago because Lucas, he has a 3-2 and two record with a 2.43 ERA in his nine home games. And the trends, they're also on our side in this game as well. The White Sox, they're 7-1 and one in their last eight home games versus a team with a losing record. And the Cardinals, they're 1-4 and four in their last five games. And the Cardinals, they're also 1-4 and four in their last five games versus the White Sox as well. So give me the White Sox on the money line and the under 4.5 team total runs for the Cardinals in this game. Let's go White Sox. Yeah, Trey, I like that play. For my play today, I'm going right back to the scene of the crime. I'm going to be looking at the Chicago Cubs going against the New York Yankees, but this time I will be taking a side. I'm going to take the Chicago Cubs plus 120 against the Yankees. Domingo German this year has been very poor for the New York Yankees. Anybody can have their stuff on any given night, and any team can beat any other team. But stuff like this, a perfect game with a guy who is coming into this game with a 4.52 ERA and has given up 17 earned runs in his last three starts, that is what makes baseball so hard to predict. It's impossible to predict baseball. You just have to find some trends and find some stats to back up what you're saying, and hopefully you get lucky. Domingo German is the far worse pitcher in this game with Kyle Hendricks on the mound for the Chicago Cubs. If Kyle Hendricks wasn't behind Marcus Stroman and Justin Steele for the Cubs, he would be talked about as one of the best pitchers on that team. We have seen him in eight starts this season, and in his last six starts, he has gone six-plus innings in five of those six games, and he has only allowed over two runs in one of those starts. He is coming into this game with a 2.64 ERA and a sub-1 whip, only allowing 14 earned runs in his last eight starts this season. The Yankees had a lot of success yesterday against the Cubs with their bats, with Drew smiling on the mound. 
But with Kyle on the mound today, those runs are going to be harder to come by. Kyle Hendricks is not a strikeout guy, but what he does is force hitters into a lot of ground balls, and he makes his defense make plays. He is not going to go out there and walk a bunch of guys. He is going to let his defense work, and the Chicago Cubs will back up Hendricks in this game. Give me the Cubs on the money line to win their second game ever in Yankee Stadium at plus 120 on the money line. Trey, let's take a look at some player prop from yesterday. Start us off. Yeah, we were average yesterday. I went one and one myself because I gave out Kristen Yelich over eight and a half fantasy score versus the Reds and Andrew Heaney under two and a half earned runs versus the Nationals. Yelich, he went one for five in this game with one hit, but that one hit is all we needed because he finished this game with a double in RBI and a run scored. So that's nine fantasy points, barely cashing the over for us. And Heaney, he did not cash the under. In fact, I wish that he was not even a pitcher in the MLB anymore because he broke my heart. He only pitched in three innings, and he allowed seven runs on eight hits. And Heaney, he cashed the over in this game in about the first inning. So that one hurt me a lot. I went one and one. Thank you guys for roasting me in the comments yesterday. I definitely deserved it. Yeah, I went one and one as well, Trey. I had Kevin Gosman, under two and a half earned runs as my winner yesterday against the Tigers. He allowed two runs in the first inning, and then he pitched a great game after that. So thank you, Kevin, for figuring it out. And then my loser was Luis Roberts, who only collected one hit, and it wasn't a single, so he did not get over one and a half bases. We go two and two as a team. Let's go 4-0 and today, Trey. Start us off. Yeah, and I'm going to be attacking the guy who you lost with yesterday. Give me Luis Robert, over eight and a half fantasy score versus the Cardinals. I talked about how I expect Stephen Matz to struggle in this game in Chicago earlier in the game picks. And I believe that the biggest beneficiary from that is going to be Robert. Because Robert, he was recently named as an all-star. And I think he's going to be looking to enter the all-star break with some positive momentum, especially against this game versus Matz. And Robert, he's absolutely eaten alive left-handed pitching this season. And it should be no different in this game because this season, Robert, he's hitting 329 against lefties. He has 24 hits, six home runs, 10 RBIs, and five walks in his 73 at bats. So look for him to come into this game with a ton of confidence, especially going up against lefties. All we need for him to do is get on base a couple times and to score a run. And I think he could do that easily in this game. So give me Luis Robert to go over eight and a half fantasy score versus the Cardinals. Yeah, Trey, for my batting prop today, I'm going with Marcus Simeon over one and a half bases going up against the Washington Nationals. Marcus Simeon two weeks ago was the hottest hitter in baseball, and now he has cooled off over his last several games, only collecting one hit in his last seven starts. He is going to get back to what he does best, getting on base for the Texas Rangers team today. A couple games ago when I was watching the Rangers, the announcer were talking about Marcus Simeon, and when he scores, the Rangers are averaging something like 5.8 runs per game. That is going off of memory, so... It might not be exactly correct, but when Marcus Simeon does well, the Texas Rangers do well is what the announcement we're getting at. There's a very high chance that Marcus Simeon gets on base a lot in this game with Patrick Corbin on the mound for the Washington Nationals. Corbin has allowed the most hits in baseball for a starting pitcher, giving up 130 hits and 101 innings pitched, and he has given up 10-plus hits in two of his last four games. He has given up a combined 33 hits over his last four starts as well, bringing his ERA to a 5.13 on the season. And I know this is the player prop side, but I'm thinking Marcus Simeon is going to have a good game. So it might be a good idea to place a wager on the Texas Rangers team total over in this game as well. Give me Marcus Simeon over one and a half bases as my first play. Trey? I love that one. So I'm going to be riding with Jesus Luzardo here over seven and a half strikeouts versus the Phillies. And Luzardo, yes, he's getting a tough matchup here versus the Phillies in this game because Philadelphia, they score the ninth most runs per game in the first five innings. They averaged 2.74 runs per game in the first five. So there is a chance that Luzardo could get roughed up early in this game. But luckily for us, he is pitching in warm Miami. And Luzardo has been elite when pitching at home. Because Luzardo, he's pitched in 10 home games this season. Turned into a 3-2 and record with an impressive 2.39 ERA. But more importantly for us, he does average 7.2 strikeouts per game at home, which is right at this number. But the Phillies, they do love to strike out, and that's going to help us in this bet because they strike out the seventh most times in the MLB with an average of 9.11 times per game. So I think Luzardo could easily get the eight strikeouts before he exits this game. So give me Jesus Luzardo to go over seven and a half strikeouts versus the Phillies. Yeah, Troy, I like that play. For my pitching prop today, I'm going to stick with the same team I took yesterday on my pitching prop and take Chris Bissett, under two and a half earned runs going up against the Tigers. This play is more fading the Detroit Tigers offense more than it is trusting Chris in this game. I do think that Chris can go out there and give us six plus innings, allowing no runs of this Tigers team because he has shown it multiple times this season that he can do it. But for him lately, his starts, it's been all over the place, allowing three plus earned runs in four of his last five games. 
but he has also shown that he can go out there allowing less than two runs in five of his last 10 starts. He has only allowed 48 earned runs this year in 18 appearances, but since the start of June, his ERA has ballooned nearly a point, and this will be a great opportunity for him to have a quality start against this Tigers team. More times than not, he's a reliable option for the Blue Jays, and I'm going to trust him in this game, but the Tigers ranking close to dead last in every offensive category in the MLB. Yesterday, the Tigers scored two runs in the first inning and then were blank for the rest of the game, and I like that to continue in this game against the Blue Jays. So give me Chris Bissett to go under two and a half earned runs tomorrow against the Tigers. All right, guys, that'll do it for our MLB player props and game picks for Sunday, July 9th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.